welcome all to the last topic of our endowment okay so here we are going to see the differences between living things and non living things as we already learned the characteristics of living things right so this is the sum total of the things what we studied okay so just uh, recall the points eh? okay living things as you know living things breathe that is the first point so what about non living things we animals breathe birds breathe through their nose then trees breathe through their leaves i taught you then what about fish yeah fish breathe through look at the picture fish breathe through their gills this is the portion gills okay g i l l s gills understood so fish breathe through their gills what about your book or your pen your table your chair your dress do they breathe no why it's because they are non living things that you already know it so non living things do not breathe that is the difference the first difference living things breathe non living things do not breathe second point living things eat food we all eat food right what about animals also eat some animals eat and other anim other animals then some animals like cow buffalo etc eat grass or plants then uh, what about the case of plants or trees they make their own food by themselves right but what about the case of books pen pencil stones do they eat food no that means the second difference is living things eat food but non living things do not eat food understood third point is what was that yes living things grow baby grows into a man a puppy grows into a dog okay a sapling into a plant or a tree yes you learned it what about your book do do your books grow no very good that means non living things do not grow this that is the third difference understood fourth point is living things can move we human beings can move one place to another with our legs right what about the case of birds they fly with their wings very good then what about fish i'll show you see the picture these are the things they are known as fins which help a fish to move that or fins help a fish to swim or move understood very good what about the case of your pen can a pen move itself no we can move it but this pen cannot move by itself okay that is the case of your chair we can move it but the chair cannot move itself understood so the fourth point is living things move non living things do not move okay fourth fifth point is we living things can feel when someone hit us we will feel pain right that is what we call feel we can feel we can feel what air here or we can feel the uh, what suppose when we are touch the fire we feel hot right but what the case of a uh, stone or a book or a pen do they feel do you think so never because it's a live non living thing so that is the fifth difference living things can feel but non living things do not 
feel. Right. Then, sixth point is reproduce. Living things reproduce. That means living things give birth to their young ones. Right. A dog give birth to their young ones like puppies. Similarly, the case of tree give birth to their saplings through their seeds. Right. Then what about, I taught you in the last class, what about snake and the birds? Yes, they lay eggs. Very good. But what about your books and table or non-living things around us? Do they give birth to their babies? No. So that means that is the sixth the difference living things give birth to their young ones non living things do not give birth to their young ones understood then the seventh and final point living things grow old and die we all will become old and definitely will die one day right you might have seen aged people at your home your grandparents once they were babies but now they got old okay similarly all the living things grow old and die but non-living things do they get old or they do they die never that means living things grow old and die but non-living things do not grow old or die Understood? So these are the differences between living things and non-living things. Now I hope you understood all the things what I taught. So here is the end of our lesson and in the next class we will discuss the exercises. Okay? So be prepared for the next class. Until then, bye!